Well, good morning, and here we are. We have another opportunity to have our day started off right with a little bit of God's Word. Get our dose of it to get our day started off right. Uh, this morning, I want to look at a passage over in the book of Psalms, in Psalm 139. You know, each and every one of us, we've got to get through this life, and we face difficulties, we face struggles, we face trials, we, we face... Life is what it is, and sometimes it can be very difficult. And sometimes we, we face things by our doing and sometimes not by our doing. It, 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 it is what it is. And the psalmist makes a statement here that when we can come to understand, you know, we may be dealing with things, we, we may be dealing with some stuff that, you know, might be a heavy load to bear. And, you know, we can confide in other folks and we can talk to other folks and, uh, you know, we can sympathize with one another, but we really may not be uh, capable of truly understanding what uh, what the other person is going through. But there's there's something that is very beneficial for us to come and to understand. The psalmist says in Psalm 139 and in verse 13, the psalmist says, For you, speaking of God, formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book they are all written, the days fashioned for me when as yet there were none of them. You know, we may not be able to truly connect and understand really what the burden or the weight is that we may be carrying, you know, inside of us. But here's the thing, God does. You know, we can have compassion on one another, we can have mercy on one another, uh, you know, and, and in some instances, we may be even, may be even able to relate uh, to one another. But to truly understand the sorrow and the pain and the struggle uh, that, that another may be dealing with, that we really cannot, you know, uh, connect to. But God can. Did you notice some of the things that the psalmist said? He says, you form my inward part. God knows us in and out. He made us. He knows what's going on, whether it is uh, you know, emotionally, spiritually, or, or physically. He knows inside and out to the very smallest of details and things that, that we cannot see. It's like Peter's mother-in-law. You remember when Peter's mother-in-law was sick and, and Peter brought Jesus to her. She had a fever. Nobody knew what was causing the fever, but Jesus did, and Jesus took care of that. It, you see, there there be things going on inside of us, especially emotionally and spiritually, that no one else can really comprehend or understand because it's not them. But God does. God formed us. He knows us. He understands us. He knows exactly the burdens that it is that you are carrying and the and the weight that they are upon you. He, he, he said, he said, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. We, we, there's things about, uh, about our body. We don't even understand how, how do these things work? You know, but God does. You know, think about I, I don't understand how the brain works and probably largely even the, even the brain guys really don't, fully understand how the brain works. How can a piece of meat, and that's really all it is, how can a piece of meat hold memories, reason, understand, speak, and have control over every aspect of our body? How, how can a piece of meat do that? I don't know. That's that fearfully and wonderfully made. God put us together. God made us. Meaning he understands us. 
better than we understand ourselves. Look what he goes on and says. He says, verse 15, My frame was not hidden from you. Nothing is hidden from God. You know, when we're dealing with struggles and, and hard times and things in life, they're not hidden from God. God sees them. God knows them. Uh, and sometimes we may ask, well, why isn't God taking care of this? Well, have you asked him to take care of it? That's a big part of it. Have you asked him to take care of it? Have you asked him to help you? And coupled with that, what are you doing for him? You know, what, what are you doing for him? So, but here's the point. But he, and he goes on, he's, he's talking about the righteous here. You know, when we live our lives for God, and when we have those burdens and those weights and those struggles that come upon us, that just, you know, life brings just by merely being alive. Things come upon us. God understands. And here's the thing, we don't have to go through those things alone. If, if God is the epicenter of our life, if he is everything that our life is about, and we are doing his will, we are striving uh, to be pleasing to him, making those changes where we need to make them, we, the Bible tells us that we have his help, we have his comfort, he understands. Matter of fact, Peter says, casting your burdens or your anxieties upon him. Why? Because he cares for us. Uh, 1 Peter 5 and in verse 7. So you see, God knows us. He knows how heavy those burdens can be and he doesn't want us to be carrying them. He wants us to pass them off to him. And when we are living our life according to his will and to his glory, guess what? We've got that help. He is an ever-present help to those that are righteous and serving him. My friends, there's your dose of God's word, is that if you're carrying those burdens, you don't have to. Come to Christ. Come to Christ who died for your sins. Come to him believing in him, confessing him that he is the Christ, repenting of your sins, and being baptized into Christ. Galatians 3 and verse 27, because it's in Christ where all spiritual blessings are in the heavenly places are found. Ephesians 1 and in verse 3. You see, when we have, when we are a child of God and our life is about Him, we've got all the help that we need. And, and But maybe you're not. And maybe your life is, is struggle. Maybe your life is hard. Well, that's the first step to begin to take care of those things. And we can help you with that. And just send us a message. We'll be happy to get together and, and, and we'll help you on your way with that. But there's your dose of God's Word is that he knows what you're dealing with. He knows you better than you. And here's the thing. He wants to help you. And he knows how to do it. There's your dose of God's word today. And I hope it'll be beneficial to you. And Lord willing, tomorrow we'll get back together and get another dose to get our day started off right. Y'all have a great day.